You might have seen his Rysot video, which went viral back in May. When I saw it, I thought to myself, huh, that would make a good stop motion video. It's free real estate. First, I film myself dancing in front of my green screen, <laughs> oh, no. making sure to repeat the exact same movements so that I would be able to seamlessly loop them. I don't know what I'm doing. In After Effects, I picked out the dance loops, keyed myself out, switched to screen matte view, then used the fine edges effect. I added an adjustment layer and inverted the colors. I finally used some time remapping to shorten the loops to 12 frames only. In the meantime, I colored the rice using food coloring and some vinegar, and let it dry overnight. I printed out all 12 frames of a dance loop, stuck the first frame onto another tray, and laid out the rice as per the outline. Then it was time to toss it. My first attempt didn't really work. It was challenging to flip the rice in exactly the same way each time. For my second attempt, I was more careful and also ended up flipping each frame twice to have a better chance of obtaining usable frames. In After Effects, I went through the footage and located all the frames in which the rice figures were roughly in the same position and ordered them in sequence. I added an adjustment layer with some blurring and vignetting, which was masked around Dancing Man, to make it stand out. I also used the Change to Color effect to make the video a little more colorful. After adding a few more elements and some music, here's the final result. Subscribe for more creative experiments and follow me on Instagram to see them there as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.